In the last lesson, we saw how easy it is to dream big for other people. Before we can start dreaming big for ourselves and setting goals, we need to look at where we are now. Like I mentioned in the last lesson, when I did my first vision board, I ended up with a bunch of images of things that I thought would make me happier. In the end, I was not connected to any of these. And a big part was because I did not take the time to look at where I truly was at the time of making my board. So when I put things on the board, some of them were so far away from where I was actually at, I felt like a failure before the year even started. I really don't want you to feel this way. So we're going to do a short exercise together to get clear on where we are now. Because we cannot change what we cannot see. So let's get clear together. You can use a pen and paper, and you can also go and download the PDF and do the exercise called Wheel of Life. It's all there for you. This is a diagram that is used a lot in coaching, and it's super effective because it divides our life into important categories. Career, money, health, family and friends, romance, personal growth, fun and recreation. You are welcome to create your own categories for your own life. This is a general template and I want to make sure it's useful. So think about what is important to you in your life. For each category of the wheel, there are 10 lines that go through each slice. You're going to give yourself a score from 1 to 10 on how satisfied you are in each of the categories, 10 being the most satisfied. The word satisfied is very important because this is very personal. No one can tell you how satisfied you are. So for example, you may have saved $1,000 this year, which is amazing because you've never had a savings account and this is really exciting. So in that category, under money, you would give yourself a 9 or 10. But you have a friend who has a million dollars in the bank, but they had decided that they aren't satisfied until they have $5 million in the bank. So in that wheel section, they would put two, even with all that money in the bank. How satisfied we are has very little to do with numbers or things. It's usually about progress. Typically, we feel the most satisfied in areas that we are truly participating in and giving attention to. Each of us has different wants and desires, and this affects how satisfied we are on a daily level. So for this exercise, you're going to go through each category and give yourself a score out of 10 on how satisfied you are in each. Draw a line across each slice and the number you picked, and once you have completed each section, it creates a new wheel. The question is, how smooth is your ride? The first time I did this, I was starting my first business. I hired a business coach, and I thought she was going to help me take this to the next level. I was so excited. When I did this work with her, I was on such a bumpy ride. I had no balance. I had no flow. I was only focused on my career and therefore was kind of a mess and struggling as a human. My health was a mess. I had lost touch with a lot of people that were really good for me. And I realized that if my business was to fail, I would literally have nothing. I needed to smooth out my wheel. It was really important. At the time, it was really hard to face this fact. I was really embarrassed that I was on such a bumpy ride, and I had created this for myself. But by seeing it on paper, I was able to slowly work on things that would bring my numbers up, level them out, smooth out my ride. So if you're looking at your wheel and you're feeling a little down or a little low, don't judge yourself. This is just the beginning of change. We cannot create what we cannot see. So in the next lesson, we're going to use this wheel to prioritize what needs to be focused on. We are going to smooth out our ride.